Bluey, do you want to play an unrated rapid game? Are you up for it? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, no. Let's make sure we actually make it unrated this time. Because I think last time uh, you made it rated. <laughs> okay, we'll see how this goes. I'm going to play my new favorite opening is Black, the Carl Cant. This one's a real crowd pleaser. I'm finding out. Arenas? Um, what is Arena? I'm actually not familiar with Arenas. Yeah, I've never heard of that, so um, honestly, I have no idea. So I guess the answer is no. I don't know. The answer is I don't know. Never really had to think about it. <laughs> Maybe someone can like drop a link or something and just like let me know what that is or whatever. Um. I had a really similar game. Oh man, what was it? Was it? I think it was like two days ago. Um, I kind of ran into this like similar concept here. Think about this. I don't think we need to think about that one too hard. Are tournaments like big time investments from the people hosting them? Oh, you create an arena in which viewers can join and you can host a tournament with them. Gotcha. Yeah. Honestly, I just, I haven't looked into that at all, so, yeah. 
that might be like a future down the road thing or whatever. longer streams yeah that's one thing that i don't really have the uh, the luxury of right now <clears throat> gotcha yeah i mean if someone can just like send me a link on how to do that or whatever um that'd be cool Thinking about this. This probably has to be done. You got two options there. Which one's he gonna take? The pawn or the queen? You gonna take the pawn route or the queen route? The pawn route. Solid, solid. I have no affiliation with chess.com, by the way. <laughs> <coughs> Honestly, I just use it over lead chess because uh, I just like how it looks. So that's kind of really all it comes down to. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, thanks for sharing that pearl edition. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'll definitely, uh, I'll check that out. Where's that do? <laughs> yeah, Draco, I think, may be the very first person that came to the stream uh, when I started in the beginning of July. It was basically him and Olivia for like the longest time. Uh, if I'm being honest, there was uh, there was a raid that really just kind of gave my stream um, a nice bump. So that's kind of how that went down. 
Yeah. Um, plus, if I'm also being honest, the YouTube algorithm um, kind of helped me a little bit. Just being totally honest. So, yeah, it's kind of wild. I had a lot of streams where I just streamed for hours and no nobody was here, so... <clears throat> oh, nice, nice. That's awesome. Game 7, man. Yeah, that was pretty rough. One of these days I want to go back and just kind of like look at uh look at sort of how the games and the just the whole all the content has evolved over time. I think that's kind of fun to look at that stuff. What's he scheming here? Who was the raid? Um, the big raid was by OK Judy. Yeah, yeah, her raid gave me like a um a, a cool bump. That was actually probably the most fun stream that I remember. <laughs> it was like super lively and super active. Uh, that that was pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. Nice man, racking in those tokens. I see what you're doing. Yeah, Judy's cool. Judy's cool. I really don't want this to come down to a, a time a time scramble. I'm surprised how neck and neck this is at this point. I hope you're not just going easy. <laughs> oh, nice move there. That, that was a good move. I will admit...
Yeah, you kind of messed up my plan there. It's fine. That is fine. So, how are we going to do this? <laughs> how is this going to go down? Oh, thanks, man. You as well. You as well. I've been looking for the one sick tactic, but it's it's not coming to me. <laughs> <clears throat> We got to start thinking outside the box here. that move do? Oh, I guess that makes sense. I suppose. Does that do? Oh, that was a mistake. Oh. Yeah, I kind of failed to realize. Ah, uh, yeah, that's probably more or less GG. Uh, maybe it isn't. Yeah, it feels bad. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, I should have added one more defender to F7. Yeah, that, that was a blunder. Ah, <clears throat> uh, he gets the pawn now. Yeah, it feels bad. Knight F5. Is that even possible? Oh my god, I, I could have I could have won that rook there. Oh that feels really bad. Uh, oh wait 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 wait. Ah, that was free. Wow. Crazy. GG, man. Yeah, GG. I mean, that was on time, but... So... 
Um, there was a much better move at the end there. Yeah, GG though, man. That was fun. That was fun. There was a much better move. I, I noticed it one move too late. Uh, yeah, when you put your... When you put your rook on e6, there was the free rook here. Oh, okay. Sorry, let me take that back. Not necessarily free rook, but... Wait, is it a free rook? Yeah, it is a free rook, right? Because you just retake with the knight. You could probably get the pawn here. And then there's check, which, which kind of puts me into a little bit of a frenzy, but... But yeah, that was... That was probably just time pressure at the end there. I mean, we had, what, seven seconds? But yeah, no, that was that was a fun game. Oof. I'll have to politely decline that one, whoever you are. <laughs> you, you had some really interesting ideas with sort of sending the queen and the two rooks down the, what was it, the B file or the C file? So taking that pawn was the idea there. Interesting. I thought it made more sense just to sort of defend e4 and d5. But... Yeah, I figured the trade here was good. I'm surprised you didn't want to trade off here. Well, uh, I just out of interest, so how come you didn't, um, how come you didn't trade knights here? Because what I was expecting you to do was take the knight and then um, stack my pawns. So was there like a specific reason for that or or not really? I figured you'd trade off my knight and I get to leave it in development. Gotcha. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, my idea, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but my idea is generally if I can trade off even pieces, but stack your pawns in the process it's generally worth it um because i noticed you were having it seemed like some issues with the pawns once they got onto the d file when they were stacked um it seemed like they were kind of blocking some of your pieces but yeah that was my idea there though but then um it, obviously it just weakens the pawn um, this is going to be the last game for me tonight. Um, I usually cut the stream off at midnight my time. Um, so I can get some kind of normal sleep. Engine didn't like, huh? Boy, this, this game review is uh, <laughs> not looking so pretty before, before uh, between nine, uh, English, between moves nine and twelve. <laughs> That was so bad, huh? Honestly, I was really tempted <laughs> to take here. I, I wanted to see if I could <laughs> do something with the open file here. <laughs> uh, mm. <laughs> Turn the table on you a little bit. But yeah, let's let's go through. I forgot that in another analysis, um, the engine does re recommend taking the knight, even if it get, gets captured by the bishop. Um, it, it's always weird to me to do that. Oh, come on, chess.com. Trading off here, huh? I was trying to keep your queen as inactive for as long as possible. Taking here. They're moving the queen up. Oh, sure. Pressuring your bishop. The pressure. Ah, I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, queen a5 is an interesting move. Hmm. Sort of adds a defender to c5, attacks a3, and then attacks c3 as well. And then you you can't really go to uh, e4, obviously. Uh, interesting idea. But couldn't you go, say, like b1? Hmm. Okay. Cool, cool. 
I was really lucky that my knight was on d7 there. I was honestly kind of surprised that you went for this. Um, but it looks like the engine doesn't mind it, so... What is this? Knight g6? g6, yeah. That was a bit of a toss-up. <laughs> What's up, Polini? Getting your morning breakfast ready? <laughs> I think you're late to breakfast today. <laughs> Oh, you had to or you lose a pawn. Is that right? Oh, right, 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 right. Ah, that makes sense. I didn't realize that. Right, right. Yeah, good point. Yeah, your queen was uh, stopping my castle there, so I wanted to pressure your queen as much as possible there. And then I wanted to castle as fast as possible there, too. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I'm glad I can be part of the start of your day. Turks HG, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. This was just a safety move. This was just some uh, cheap insurance. Queen E7. Hmm. I see. This is so bad, huh? I thought this this move was okay because um, there was two defenders on c8 and then the queen was still defending a5. Um, I was sort of taking with the, the, the less valuable piece here, so. This was a fun move to find. Maybe the play here was to take the pawn. I don't know. I, I was really debating between taking the pawn uh, on d4 or b4. I mean, b4 was free, but then you also get a pawn, and it sort of uh, gives that pawn the option to promote. Hmm. Knight f6. It said it was a book move. Um, strangely enough. Yeah, so let's let's see what happens. Uh what does the engine have to say about this? Oh wow, so this is a really big swing for white. Interesting. Okay, well that's good to know. <clears throat> yeah, a bit of a debate there. <coughs> oh, what if queen takes on b4? Let's find out. Hmm. Oh, wow. This is a perfectly even position here. Wow. Oh, is that right? 15% win rate? Wow. Uh, if we ever play again, and you play as white, play the scotch game. I have a 0% win rate against scotch game. <laughs> as black. <laughs> So you're almost guaranteed to beat me. <laughs> I thought this was a really good move um, just to defend this pawn. And then once I got my knight onto f5 here, that created some issues as well. I was really hoping I could reroute the knight onto a d4 eventually. Oh, really? I think the opening's only like three moves or something, right? This is so bad. Wow. I figured adding another attacker to d4 was okay. But I guess not, huh? Oh, sure. Because we trade off on b4 anyway. And then the pawn can't be won. The rook move was probably the biggest risk this game for me, I felt like. Um, I don't know why. It just seemed like it. I figured neither one of us were going to win or get too far just with our uh, knight and our rook. So I kind of figured it was time to start 
pushing pawns up the board and getting the king involved here somehow. Okay. What else could we have done for this move? Um, I, I really blundered this one because I failed to realize that f7 was going to be attacked twice. So what does engine say about this? g6. Isn't that what I played? Rook b7 is an inaccuracy. I figured that just won you a pawn, no? Isn't this what you played? Yeah, this wins you a pawn. So how could it be so bad? No, check, sure. I think that's what ended up happening. Or was that not what ended up happening? No, that is what ended up happening. Okay. And then what's next after this? Knight f5? Let's see. Defended. Hmm. Wow, this really swung the advantage in your favor here. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, should have just went to a defended square, huh? On f5. Hmm. I did like the fact that your pawns were blocked in. It's kind of making the promotion hard for you. Yeah, and then I spotted this move, kind of one move too late. I'm surprised he, uh, it says it's even here. Wow, this is still a perfectly even position. That's kind of crazy. Even being up a rook. Probably because your pawns are going to promote. Interesting. Yeah, and then we were just kind of feeling the time scramble there. Gotcha, gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's surprising, even with um with the extra rook, that it's so even. Yeah, cool. But yeah, GG man. Always fun playing you. Um 